Bob Presk with Jones Technical Institute here. Going to talk about batteries. The next three minutes. Uh, you've got different types of batteries here. You got lead acid bass and battery. You got your water battery here. The difference here, you can fill these up with water. So you could want to make sure that your cells here got enough water. If not, you add a flash like you see in there. Fill it up. Hey, that's why your battery's not charging. It has a charge. With these batteries right here, you don't want to pop off the top of the can behind this little piece of plastic tape here. You want sulfuric acid, you don't want to get it in your face. So by this battery, this is uh, 800 cold cranking amps at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 650 at zero degrees. So that's how much amperage you're going to get right off the bat there. Um, we're going to test this battery right here with our little voltmeter. Let's hope this thing works. Right, anything over 12 should be good to go. On the wires here, let's see, you gotta go red to positive, black to negative. Let's see what we get here. We're only getting 8.6, so this battery might need a charge or it might have a dead cell in there. These batteries got different cells. There's six cells here, they're what, two? Two amps each, or two volts each. That's why it's a 12 volt battery. Uh, goes positive, goes from positive to negative, goes through a bunch of little multiple plates, goes across, sends the battery, goes to your car, gives you, let's play your radio, use your AC and stuff like that. I see there's different, how big these batteries are. I don't know if this one has on here, how big it is, I don't think so. Well, this is a six volt battery, deep cycle. 12 volt battery. Um, on your trucks, you're going to have multiple batteries, so you got to test each one. You got to test each one individually, so you got to make sure you disconnect all the negatives and positive, test them separately. Uh, when looking at these, so you got a little bit of corrosion on here. You want to make sure all the corrosion is cleaned off, you got good connections, everything like that. Uh, some other things here load test the battery. What we would do is have this hooked up to your truck. Put your voltmeter on it just like that. Let's say have the engine running, check your volts, then turn on your AC, turn on your lights, radio, see how much amperage and volts you got there. You still got over 12, beat 12 and a half, somewhere around there as long as they under 12. Battery should be good to go. Uh, what else we got here? Um, and this battery right here, the sulfuric acid. There's another piece of equipment that's over there that's called the uh, load test, like a handheld test, you can hook it up and tell you if the battery's good right away or if it's bad. Right now we will test it on the trucks, but everybody's working, so that's my name, Paul Prescott, and this Joe Tech, this is about batteries.